Figures show apparatus that could be used to determine the specific latent heat of fusion of ice. A. In order to obtain as accurate a result as possible. State why it is necessary to. Number 1. Wait until water is dripping into the beaker at a constant rate before taking readings. Okay, to answer this question, you must first have been studied the steps of this experiment very well. Let's remember together. To find the specific latent heat of fusion of ice, you need an empty dry beaker and a funnel. Put your finely crushed ice in the funnel and then put the heater. Switch the heater on so the ice starts to melt. When water reaches a constant rate of dripping, put the beaker under the funnel and immediately start your stopwatch. Ice will melt and water will be collected in the beaker. After 3 minutes or 4 minutes or the time you have been defined before, stop the stopwatch and immediately remove the funnel. So, this is the amount of water that is collected in the time that you have defined before. Let's say 3 minutes for example. Find the mass of this water so now you have M the mass. And it's the same as the mass of the melted ice in these 3 minutes. Now you have the time T on the stopwatch. And you have the power of the heater that you have used. Using the rule LF specific latent heat of fusion equals Q divided by M which is power multiplied by time divided by M. You can find the specific latent heat of fusion. So why we wait until water is dripping into the beaker at a constant rate before taking readings to be sure that heater reached its maximum temperature. Heater does not reach its maximum temperature immediately. It needs some time. You cannot start your stopwatch once the heater is on. That's why we wait until water reaches a constant rate of dripping. The mark scheme gives one mark for funnel no longer giving heat to ice. We wait until the funnel and ice have the same temperature or ice at melting point, constant temperature or heater reached this maximum temperature. Question double I. Why we use finely crushed ice rather than large pieces? These are large pieces of ice and these are small pieces of ice. The red color shows the air gaps between them. It's clear that the air gaps between larger pieces are much bigger than smaller pieces. When we put heaters in the ice, smaller pieces provide better contact between ice and the heater. So the amount of heat loss will be smaller. Also, this is a big piece of ice. And this is a small piece of ice. The smaller piece of ice can be normally at zero. But the bigger piece of ice, when its surface is at zero degrees Celsius, actually its core may be less than zero. And this may cause an error in our experiment. We say larger surface area and smaller air gaps makes better contact between ice and heater. The mark scheme gives many options here. Inside of large pieces, could be well below freezing point or you can say smaller air gaps if piece is smaller or better contact between heater and ice or to ensure heat from heater only goes to the ice or larger surface area ignore ice melts faster any one of these answers will get the mark of the question